Right, it's just gone 8 o'clock in the morning. In this particular farm that I'm on, um, after rooks, crows and pigeons, mainly on this field here. This field was cut for silage about a week ago and they've been absolutely piling into it. Uh, I've got the added bonus of the field just down here, that's barley. And just down in this corner, the rooks and crows have been tearing into it down there as well, so that's also good. Uh, the wind direction today is coming from my left, but from behind, cutting across the field, out across the decoys here. The biggest problem today is going to be the sun, it's going to be right in my face, which isn't good. Uh, but if the cloud picks up and covers the sun, that'd be great. We'll have to wait and see what happens with that. I've got 10 pigeon decoys out, shell ones, typical horseshoe shape, and I've got about eight or nine crow decoys just below them there as well. I've got two hides set up in this hedgerow here. Uh, this one for me, where Taz is, and one a little bit further down from old chap, he's coming over later, so I've done his donkey work and set it up for him. And as you can see through this hedge here, across the top of the farm, another grass field which has been cut, and they've been going into that one as well. But uh, we come over a couple of days ago, and we had like nearly 30 over here, but I didn't bring my camera that day, which was a bit of a bit of a bugger, but I've got it today, so hopefully we can get a few on film. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it really. I've got some dead bird cradles, and I've got a the extendable cradle which I can put a dead bird in to simulate it coming into the pattern. So time to get loaded up, see how we go. I'm using the Beretta Silver Pigeon, 12 gauge, quarter and a half choke. Don't need no more than that for what we're doing. So let's see how we get on. Right, there's one I just shot, I stuck him on the cradle. First one I missed, I'm doing a bit of conservation work there. That's him on the bouncer, so happy with that. Old chap's just turned up. And uh, I'm gonna bring one of these decoys in, because these ones are quite shiny, so I'm gonna bring one of these in and see how we get on. Go on in. In front. Right, not doing too bad. Got one pigeon there on the cradle. It's looking all right. Uh, mainly jackdaws at the moment, apart from that one rook. Dad just had a shot at the pigeon, but I think he got more of the tree than he did the pigeon, but he's gone around to have a look anyway. Um, what I'm gonna do is bring these decoys in a bit closer simply because the ones that have been coming up to us at the moment have been landing down here well of course our hides are there and by the time they're coming in they're disappearing out of view so the idea is now just to move it inwards a little bit and see if uh, that makes a difference so I'm going to move that bouncer in I shall bring this one in a bit closer and I shall bring this one in completely because you can see it's too shiny. And, uh, and then we'll have a go, see if the pattern works a bit better like that.
Get him. Find him. Good boy, where is he? Find him. Good lad. Good boy. See, I knew there was a reason why I bring you. That buzzard look, trying to take my decoy. Ah, no, it's not a buzzard. Wow, look at that, that's beautiful. That coming in after my decoys look. Right, it's time to call it a day now. I've had a good few hours. Uh, I've ended up with, picked up six pigeons there. I've got one in the hedge over there, which I'm gonna put Taz in in a minute, see if we can find that. I've got a uh, 16, 17 corvids there, rooks, crows and jackdaws, mainly jackdaws. Uh, another one ended up way over the far side of the field there in the hedge, which my old chap shot, he hit it hard both barrels. And the pigeon, that I hit very hard, went over the brow of the field, so I'm going to go and have a look for that, see if I can find it. All in all, it's been a very good day, it was very hot to start off with, but it's all clouded up now and there is signs of drizzle and that in the air, so time to call it a day, that's typical, look, pigeons start to come back round as you pack up, well, that's sod's law, isn't it? But uh, no, it's been very enjoyable, Taz has worked well, but uh, this was a good bit of practice because Friday afternoon I'm going to be going down West Country to meet up with a very good mate of mine and a long time shooting buddy Clint. He's invited me down there for the weekend. He's going to take us out over the place that he's got. Um, and like here it's recently cut grass. He said that the uh, rooks and crows and that have been piling into there so looking forward to that. Somewhere different to shoot. And also going to be taking the air gun as well because they've got a big problem with rats around the farm so we're going to have a crack at that and all and hopefully the old tree rats and grey squirrels so looking forward to that but uh, all in all been a very enjoyable day especially seeing that bird of prey at the end that was um, a sight to behold that was it's so nice seeing them around here even though we did try taking two of me pigeon decoys but obviously realised they want enough meat on them so they decided to leave it but he hung around for a couple of minutes so that was good and like I said earlier at the start, I was using the Brett Silver Pigeon. Absolutely love this gun. Fixed choke, quarter and a half. And I've been using the Express 30 gram sixes, special pigeon fiber wad. Can't fault them. Very, very good. But uh, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click like and subscribe to my channel. I have got two other videos on there at the moment. If you haven't seen them have a nose at those and leave any comments and click like as well um, I know at the end of the day it's not everybody's cup of tea to see birds being shot but at the end of the day you know what it's all about if you don't like it don't watch it simple as that so 
time to pack up, head back home, and uh, thanks for watching.